hi guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> yeah if you're a new subscriber thank you for stopping by and do make sure you watch this video to the end because it's going to be really 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 interesting and if you are an old subscriber um thank you for coming back and let's get right into this um today's video is going to be a bit um controversial i'm just going to be talking about um trending news or just news that actually just caught my eyes and i think it's supposed to be spoken about maybe i just feel like nobody's talking about it enough and i just want to draw a bit of attention to it so yeah i'm just going to be talking about three issues that i saw on social media and yeah we're just going to be dissecting them and yeah you can as well tell me your view in the comment section if you don't agree with me it's fine you do not have to agree with my views that's why we're different um do make sure you leave a comment in the comment section and yeah i think we're going to be doing this weekly um i just kind of like drew a roadmap for my channel and i would like to be dropping like two videos weekly one is going to be more of this kind of videos and um, controversial videos while the other one is just going to be just interesting and entertaining videos i guess so yeah let's get right into it <laughs> welcome back so let's get right into it like the first topic i'm going to be talking about is about this news i saw online i'm going to be inserting some clips so you just get to like see what i'm talking about i know that these are real stories and not just made up stories so anyways about a 17 year old law student um she schooled in Benue state university um i think she's an 100 level student because she's 17 years old so i just i'm guessing she's an 100 level student she basically set her boyfriend ablaze because she had her abortions for him and then they were fighting so she just set him on fire and he died so yeah this story i'm going to be dissecting it because just reading the story i read this news um this morning and just reading it just let me see like a lot of mistakes like this thing could have been averted it, this boy may have not lost his life or this man i don't know how, much, how old he is because they did not even tell us the guy's age anyways um they met boy meets girl you know how this thing goes um she's 17 years old so she introduced him to her parent her name is esther alex she's a 17 year old being state university student um she meets this boy she introduced him to her parents and then yeah they start dating so after the guy met her parents she went on to move in with him she went on to move in with this guy yeah they continued dating she was living with him and then she got pregnant after she got pregnant he told her to abort it she did apparently yeah the medicine shop so he gave her the drugs to use and yeah it turned out well she did the first abortion and she was fine for me i think this is a power where she could have left but let's get right to the gist so she went on to continue dating this guy continue living with him she got pregnant the second time now we told her to abort it according to her this guy is late so we can't hear side of the story of course According to her, after the first sec second pregnancy, he started acting up. They, they started fighting a lot about different issues. Like I can't, I can kind of understand that because she's seventeen, they're living together. I guess she doesn't have a job because she's a student. She's a law student, by the way. So I'm guessing she doesn't have a job because she's a law student. And yeah, it must be the one like providing for all their needs, I guess. So she got pregnant a second time. She claims that the old relationship just went down in from there. He started getting angry, wouldn't come home regularly, and told her to abort the child again, which she did. For me, I think this is the part where she could have gone back to her house. Because someone that you're regularly getting pregnant for and he's not even saying he wants to marry you. Yes, he had met your parents. This guy is not ready for marriage. You're not ready for marriage. Maybe you should go and face your book. That's what my thought when I read the story. Anyways, so she went on living with this guy and she fell pregnant the third time. This, according to her, this guy's um, sister will come to the house to beat her up, you know, the old drama and insult her, beat her, they will fight and stuff. The relationship wasn't even going well to begin with, so sis, go to your house. So she continued living with this guy. She did the third abortion. At this time, the relationship was basically almost over like everything had been scattered so she went back to her house she claimed that this december 
last year december december 2020 the guy traveled back to his village and then after i came back i think he came back like january before they came back he went to meet her at the house and told her to come home she said according to her she said she did not feel like going back and she told him so so he left so the next day she decided to go back to his house while going to his house she decided to buy fuel and matches for me this was premeditated murder it wasn't like something happened and then he decided to kill him like she planned it of course she decided to buy fuel because she claimed that he had been violent towards her so she went to be prepared how about you don't go at all because i don't get it anyway she goes to his house as well and matches and then she kept according to her she claims she kept the four outside the house and then she went in and they made up they talked about your the relationship they had sex everything was fine and while the girl was sleeping <laughs> she woke up went outside took the foil and matches and burnt this guy and the guy died the guy actually died why she went back to go and sleep in a church why is a 17 year old living with a man she's gotten three abortions i don't understand at what point did her parents say you know what come back to this house i feel like this whole thing could have been averted if someone had just taken a stand the adult boyfriend or her parents they could have just taken her back this is why this is why i think adults shouldn't be dating children to be honest they are not yet emotionally mature to deal with issues like this they are not i'm sure she felt so hot i'm sure she felt betrayed she felt used that's it used when a female starts to feel used that's the, yeah look at here yeah, once a female feel used there's this kind of rage that if you're not mature enough you might not be able to control it that's just the honest truth and i feel like because of her age she just could not like take it she felt used she felt i'm sure somewhere in the back of her mind she must have felt known that the relationship was not going to work out and i forgot to add i forgot to add she said that before she agreed to have sex with him because when they met she was a virgin they took a blood oath before she agreed to have sex with him M many things is just wrong with this story right because one this is one reason why i think if you want to have sex with somebody you should be doing it because you want to not because you are doing it for somebody it should not it should be because she wants it because if shit goes down you know you did it for you and not for the other person so you won't feel what you won't feel like someone is someone has taken something away from you yes she i think she should go to jail because this was premeditated she thought about it it wasn't out of the blue or something that just happened out of anger she had got she had taken this fall from her house and matches from her house so she definitely knew what she was doing but at the same time, I feel like many people feel that the society, our parents most especially, theory abortions, that's not easy on anyone, even an adult. So I really do hope she gets a lesser sentence. I'm not saying she shouldn't pay, she shouldn't pay for a crime. She should because that is somebody else's life. That is somebody's son. That is somebody's brother. So of course she should pay for her crimes. But let's put into consideration that this girl was just 17 years old. I mean we did things at 17 that now right? when we, now as adults we regret so for me she's not an adult if you're not a teenager you should not be dating a girl that's less than 18 years old laws are put in place for a reason this girl was not emotionally mature enough to handle the things she was handling the things she was trying to handle because abortion takes a toll on you the first abortion second abortion third abortion those things take a toll on you like even as an adult it takes a very mature person to deal with those kind of issues those are big issues that a child shouldn't be dealing with so for me if you're a guy if you're watching this video no matter how fine this girl is if she's not up to it let her be i know some people come and come and say eh, in, the, in those days people were getting married at a at younger age well sorry we're not in those days okay and laws are put there for a reason a 17 year old girl does not really understand things i know a lot of people say stuff like oh um girls are way more mature than guys those things are lies if girls around that age are usually very 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 gullible they fall for whatever whatever basically so now this 17 year old girl for instance i'm sure they met when she was like maybe 16 or 15 let's be honest because if she had three abortions that had gone through all that and she's just 17 um in december 2020 so that means they most likely met when she was 16 and the fact that they even even took a blood oath that shows how, how very immature and how childish she is. 
so yeah if you're dating a 17 year old girl and you're way older you should know better things like this could have been averted apparent for me i i would like to hear from my parents to be honest like how do you let your child go through all these things did you not have a conversation with her didn't you talk to her to even know what was going through her mind this girl planned to kill somebody in your house because she was at home when she planned this whole murder she planned at home when the guy came and she took four she took matches without fear so imagine i said this thing a lot is a thin line between love and it right it's a very thin line between love and it you can go from loving this person to it's in this person i think that's what happened to her she went from love to it real quick because of everything she had been through and the fact that she wasn't really matured enough to handle all these things so yeah i'm not saying she shouldn't like pay for her crimes but i think she should get a lesser sentence there are a lot of people in this old drama that could have you know tried to avert this issue and they did not but i don't think she should get a life sentence she's 17 years old for crying out loud the Nigerian system is so fucked up. I know they're going to. I know this girl is not going to get any sort of sympathy. But I just pray everything works out for her at the end of the day. Even if she goes to jail. I hope this doesn't like entirely ruin her life. I know her life is already ruined to an extent. But I know I hope it's not like it doesn't like entirely ruin her life where she spends the rest of her life in jail. I hope something can be done. Either she goes to a rehab facility or just something. Maybe she just goes to jail for like 10 years or I don't know what the loss is in this kind of situations, but I also God favors her in a certain way because she's a child. In my eyes, she's still a child. So the second story I'm going to talk about is about um, this guy on um, this guy's story I saw on Twitter that committed suicide. His name is um, Dilly. So apparently, he was missing for some days because I remember when I went online um, sometime this week, I saw him as a missing person i had seen the story but it was a missing person case at the time and some days later i went on and i saw that oh this guy actually committed suicide he had let he had left a suicide note um on his instagram story i think apparently this guy had been depressed for like seven years he had tried to kill himself um three times or four times i think but maybe because he thought about his mother and people in his life and he did not so this time around they actually went through with it he said he could not leave anymore and then a lot of people were talking about depression and stuff and just got me thinking that uh, is when things like this happen you see everybody all emotional everybody all caring and caring oh talk to your friend if you are feeling sad but come on most of the time you guys are savages i mean you come online you bash people you don't even know what people are actually going through you don't know what's going through their mind you don't know the state of mind at the time you decide to be awful and decide to be a true but then when something like this happens, everybody's all, oh, look out for your friend. Oh, when you start talking to somebody, 90% of the time, let's be honest, people are not usually, like, nice. People are usually not, you know, accommodating. I think when things like this when things like this happen, we get to, like, reflect on our actions. And then, yeah, um, depression is real. Don't for a second. Because I saw some comments. Oh, my God. I saw some comments that just got me so angry. On some blogs i saw some people commenting i saw one comment and this guy was like oh why would you commit suicide don't you know suicide is a sin like really really that's what you have to say when something like this happens like i don't know i don't know if this is religion based i don't know if religion has kind of messed with our head so much that you see a case like this and you're writing why would you commit suicide this guy is dead he cannot even hear you so what's the point like if you don't have anything nice to say, I really believe if you don't have anything nice to say in a situation, don't say anything at all. Just don't say anything at all. Like I was so angry when I saw messages like that because there are a lot of people going through depression that you know. Sometimes it's the people closer to you. It's the people closest to you, someone that you talk to every day, someone that is always iPad, that is always playing, that is always having fun. That's the person that's actually going through it. But you might not know because they will not tell you. Like it takes a lot for people to actually open up. And I just want to see if you are depressed, if you are going through depression you're not alone um find things to make you happy this life is sad let's be honest like with everything that's going on this life is just basically a bit depressing and sad but in this depressing state i think you can still find things to make you happy and find things to live for it could be your family your friends your loved ones just knowing that people actually love you just hold on to that feeling hold on to the positive things in your life um if you are going through depression i think you should hold on to the positive things in your life find things to you know take your mind off 
your feelings or whatever you're feeling or whatever you're going through just find things to distract you basically i think activities in life are distractions when you go to work when you go to school they're all distractions right while well, you're away time while we're on on it so find things that you like that can, that can actually distract you from your situation don't dwell in your unhappiness or your sadness or the things that are making you sad don't dwell in that take yourself out of that situation and find things that actually make you happy find things to actually live for your friends your family loves you people in the world loves you and yeah you're not alone trust me whatever you're going through a lot of people are going through it but the difference is that they would not come out to say it i think that is the thing about this society is the fact that when people are going through things they don't come out to tell people and i get that i get that and i'm guilty of it too but yeah so just because you're going through something and nobody's talking about going through that same thing doesn't mean you're alone it just means people are really hiding their situations better they're just hiding basically and faking it nobody's that happy nobody's nobody's that hyper trust me like people are going through it so so you're not alone that's just what i want to say rest in peace to daily and yeah okay the last thing i'm going to be talking about is this story i saw this story made me feel a sort of way i'm not going to lie it's about this nyc student serving in a quiet bomb that claimed she was raped by a guy so she killed him basically with a matchet and she cut him into like chunks i guess and yeah, she killed him and she was caught when she was trying to flee from the scene. The neighbors actually caught her and they beat her up. Like, this girl was bleeding when the, when the police got there. They were about to even lynch her. Like, they were ready to kill this girl. Thank God the police came, at least for once, they have sense. So, thank God the police came and she got arrested. Now, the girl claims that this guy tried to rape her and yeah, she killed him in retaliation. So, she claimed the self-defense, right? And people are saying, oh, how is this self-defense? And how did you get his house in the first place? Like, I, this is 2021. This is 2021, fam. Can we stop asking girls how they went to a guy's house? When, now, I'm not saying, oh, ju just because she's a girl, um, believe what, believe whatever she says. Of course, no. We've seen cases where females lie about being raped. And do you get, we've seen cases like that. So, I'm not, I'm not one to jump into conclusions and say, oh, no, she's right because she's a girl. Yes, the guy tried to rape her. And of course, this guy cannot even speak for himself. So I can't do that, right? But at the same time, can we, like, remove that question of what was she doing in his house, fam? Can we take that out of the question and try to focus on the issue right now? When I told the story, I should not lie. Like, I might be a bit biased, but when I told the story, I did not believe that this girl... I don't know why I did not believe, but part of me was like, mm because mm, i felt like how are you strong enough to like attack a guy that was trying to rape you i don't know like that's just my mind yeah that's just how my mind worked when i saw the story so i didn't really pay too much attention to it right i didn't really pay too much attention to the story and then i come back again like yesterday or so and then i see this girl coming out this girl um coming out uh claiming that this same guy had tried to had raped her when she was 18 years old the guy tried to rape her and I was like, okay, let me see the girl's photo and the guy's photo. <laughs> As God will have it, it turns out that this was the guy that raped me in 2017, July 17th to be precise, in Etina local government, a bush track. He took me through that road. In my mind, I was like, what are we doing here exactly? By the time we got into the compound, into the house, the house was like a deserted place. So I got into the house and the moment I saw it, I was like, no, I can't stay here. So I got up, I told him, oh, I'm going, don't worry, maybe I'll come back another time. I went, I reached for the door. Lo and behold, the door was locked. As I turned my back to ask him to open the door, this guy got a machete. He got a machete and a pen knife. And he told me <laughs> in that girl's exact words that he will rape me and kill me and nobody will know about it and nobody will do anything about it i begged as an 18 year old i begged i cried what didn't i do that day i begged him i was literally crying fine he still had his way with me he had his way with me not once twice to be precise now this girl is um i think she's 23 years old so she claims that when she was in a quiet boom when she was 18 years old this guy had raped her she said this guy's name his name is jaffet aqua 
acquire Oma or something like that. That um, the same way this girl narrated the story about this guy picking her up from it. She was calling out to other girls that had been raped, raped by this guy. She's saying that she knows that she was not the last person this guy raped and she was not the first person this guy had raped. That anybody that had been raped by this guy, they should please come forward because of this NYSC student, right? Because of course we all know the way Nigeria system works. This girl will most likely go to jail, like because they're about to kill this guy. So we already know that she will most likely go to jail, right? So now I can see where it's plausible, right? The story just kind of seemed like okay, this NYC girl can be saying the truth. Now I'm not saying for sure, for sure she's saying the truth. She's not lying. Um, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that people need to like pay more attention to, to these stories. Um, feminists dot co um this is where i see nigerian feminist feminist should come out and try to see what's going on with this girl's issue people that have big platforms i'm not saying support this girl i'm not saying saying i'm not saying for sure for sure for sure believe whatever she says i'm just saying like investigate enough to know just push people that are supposed to investigate to actually investigate this case and not just sweep it under the rug and say you know what yes she killed this guy whatever and send her to jail like this is somebody's life right if this guy was a rapist, a serial rapist like this other girl is claiming, then investigation needs to be made before before we close this case and send this girl to jail because this is a young girl's life. She's just serving NYSA, right? If you've not read the story, please go ahead to read the story. Um, if you've read the story before but you don't know about this new um, updates about this new girl that came out to say this guy had raped her, go and watch the video. Whatever you think, comment in my comment section. I think this is the last story for today. I think I'm going to be doing this more regularly. Um, yeah, before I was doing this in, in a more of a podcast style, but I think I like the style of me talking and me showing my face. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but I think I like it. So I don't know, maybe I'll keep this up, maybe I'll be doing this weekly, like I said. Um, yeah, so this is going to be the end of the video. Let me know what you think about all these issues I talked about. Use my comment section, please. Comment in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and yeah i'll be consistent and i'll be doing this more regularly and thank you for stopping by and i'll see you in my next one bye